defense of Westerplatte. It was the first battle of World War II in Europe. In Westerplatte, at the entrance to the port of Gdansk, there was the Polish military transit depot. It was a symbol of Polishness in the free city of Gdansk. The League of Nations granted Poland the right to maintain military guard on the peninsula. On August 25, 1939, in the morning he came to Gdansk with a courtesy visit, the school battleship Schleswig Holstein. In fact, it was a well-armed ship, prepared to attack Westerplatte. At 4.30 in the morning of September 1, the German battleship Schleswig Holstein returned from the quay and headed towards the bend of the port channel, known as the Five Whistle Bend. Slowly, he began to approach Westerplatte. A quarter of an hour later, the ship's guns opened fire and over 3,000 German soldiers from sea, land and air rushed to storm the military transit depot. At 4.45 World War II began. Westerplatz crew was one guard unit consisting of 182 people. All armament was five guard houses, one field gun, two anti-tank guns and four mortars. Despite the overwhelming advantage of the enemy, Polish soldiers adamantly defended the outpost. The soldiers were not prepared for several days of fighting. The task of the crew, commanded by Major Henryk Suchowski, was to stay 12 hours in battle so there was no need to collect food, ammunition and medicine. Supplies were scarce. From 2 September, the defense of the peninsula was commanded by Deputy Major Suchowski, Captain Franciszek Dabrowski. Seven days without changing at the posts, without light, without water and without sleeping. At night, sleeping was out of the question because the Germans sneaked into Polish outposts and one had to be vigilant. Hope for help lasted 12 hours, and then the next 12 hours. On the second day, after the air bombardment, desperation arose. Some soldiers then abandoned their positions and fled to shelter in the barracks. Dabrowski took command of the defense. Probably several soldiers refused to return to defensive positions and were shot for insubordination. The seventh day of fighting was the last day. September 7, ammunition ran out, and the soldiers were exhausted. Major Henryk Suchowski decided to surrender. He knew that the situation in the country was difficult, and further fight would only bring more casualties in the defense of Westerplatte. 16 soldiers were killed and 50 wounded. Sergeant Kazimierz Rezinski was murdered in captivity by the Gestapo for refusing to disclose radio ciphers. German losses in the Battle of Westerplatte are about 300-400 killed and wounded German soldiers. The defenders of Westerplatte remained at the outpost until September 7, fending off 13 assaults. With their attitude and determination they gained not only fame, but also outright respect of the enemy, which was something unique in the whole campaign. The Germans even called Westerplatte Little Verdun, which was supposed to depict the fury of the soldiers' attack on the outpost. In 1966, a 25 metre tall monument of the defenders of the coast was unveiled on the peninsula. On September 1, 1971, the ashes of the depot commander Major Henryk Suchowski were imported from a cemetery in Italy. Zapraszamy do subskrypcji naszego historycznego kanału. Kliknij na czarną ikonkę Propatria Poland Steam i subskrypcji. Dziękujemy i do zobaczenia.